Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadowfax here once again, pushing an awkwardly shaped development update through your letterbox, whether you like it or not. And there's some interesting stuff in this package. But first, oops, sorry. Last week I forgot to mention there was a third type of loot wagon for the new train yard event, but I swear blind it wasn't there when I was making the vid. Honestly, Governor. Still. Here it is, and it'll give you sulphur, metal ore, and charcoal in varying combinations, and those will all end up in the skip here. No high qual ore yet, but that might change. Despite me saying that everything was and still is subject to change last week, and telling you not to jump to conclusions about the loot tables and amounts you'll get from all these wagons, that's exactly what hundreds of you did in the comments, it seems. Never mind, eh? Already I have word that the crate loot will be buffed and the low grade wagons being nerfed a bit. To be honest, it'll probably all get nerfed into oblivion in August, like most other things, and then buffed a few months later when not enough people are using it. But hey! Just remember, we live in a state of flux and everything is... Well, your brain can fill that in. All this train stuff is now on the normal staging branch if you want to test it, and the chance of a train yard spawning on a map is also now higher. Something you'll have to wait a bit longer to test, but that will hopefully be worth it is actually, spookily enough, something from my own wish list. I made a vid a while back randomly talking about all the things I'd personally like to see, and at the time I said some stuff like Hardcore Game Mode. I'd like a return to the UI only reflecting what you should be able to know with your senses and in your immediate vicinity. So get rid of the compass, the team system, contact, change the map, get rid of markers, perhaps get rid of safe zones. I think there's probably a lot of other things that we take for granted now in the game, but that cater to a certain type of gameplay and that could be stripped back to make it a uh, more interesting experience. Well, wouldn't you know it, others agree that Rust is too easy and so a hardcore game mode is now on the way. It probably won't arrive until September, but this will be an optional stripped back version of the game that server owners can enable. This is what we know will be removed so far. The team system, contacts, the compass, the map in any form and including anything that goes with it. Crawling, global chat and Rust Plus. BPs will wipe on a server map wipe and safe zones are also being removed. This means no safe zone trigger or defensive NPCs and turrets, so the bandit camp and outpost will just be normal monuments with vendors. There will also be a hardcore server tag, so you can find these in the browser. I'm sure you'll have questions as to other things being left in or taken out. Do leave them below in the comments and let me know what you think. For instance, I know that map rendering commands are also being disabled in this mode to stop you printing off an image of the map, but will it still be possible to go to map sites and get one there? This might be something that is also addressed but stay tuned and I'll keep you posted. Alright, so now on staging you can also play around with early versions of the new Molotov and Flashbang. These work pretty much as you would imagine with the molly creating a splash of flames wherever you throw it and the Flashbang well, the flashbang actually completely balks the game at the moment, so yes, super effective. Right now, they can't be researched, so I can't say how much they'll be to craft, but again, this is all a work in progress. Other things being worked on still include pets, travelling between servers, and an electric furnace. Okay, no details yet, but do stay tuned, won't you? The best way being, of course, to sub to the channel. Also, leave me a like for the sake of the algorithm, and note that you can join me on Twitch for streams, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content, and support the channel via Patreon, YouTube memberships, or my merch store. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. Super effective.